we seem to be much behind as far as modernization of the Philippine yeah. Navy is concerned. Is that the correct observation, Mr. Speaker, is it a sponsor? That is a correct description of the state of Philippine Navy. Thank you. And with respect to the Air Force, again, a very important uh, part in the defense uh, arm of the country, combat aircraft. Uh, only 21, I don't know if this is uh, correct as of now. 21 compared to 221 for Vietnam, 165 for Thailand, 111 for Singapore, 94 for Indonesia, and 63 for Malaysia. We, we are only a fraction of most of uh, the air forces in these countries. Uh, would that be a correct uh, assessment, uh, the single sponsor? Yes, Mr. Speaker, after the HI front of me, I, I hate to give this joke, but uh, the Air Force it has been described as 99% uh, air and 1% force. So to the day that the numbers will change. Thank you. It used to be 10% air and 90% air and 10% uh, force. Doing, uh, Seems like the Army guys are preferred to speak. Thank you. Now, the, of course, the Army. Thailand, or even Singapore, was quite a small uh, country. Sorry? Now, in the budget, I'd like to focus on uh, practically only one thing, and that is the AMP modernization program. And the reason for that, Mr. Speaker, this representation was one of the co-authors of the Public Act number 7898 here in the House of Representatives. And this is the act of providing for the modernization of the armed forces of the Philippines and for other purposes. And as far as I know, this is still the operative act as far as AMP modernization is concerned. Would that be correct, uh, the civil sponsor, Mr. Speaker? Yes, Mr. Speaker. So this is uh, what should be followed. So the five billion allocated under the government appropriation bill presented to us is going to be part of the total AFP modernization fund provided for in uh, uh, there's a listing here of uh, under section ten uh, section eleven. The AFP Modernization Act Trust Fund and the A appropriations for the AFP Modernization Program. So that would be correct. This is going to become part of the Trust Fund. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. May I know what is the plan of the AFP as far as uh, the use of the 5 billion is concerned, especially in relation also to the amount of 5 billion appropriated for the current year? For the Philippine Air Force, does the Philippine Air Force already have a plan? I'm talking of how this was presented to the Committee on Appropriations when we had a hearing chaired by uh, uh, the distinguished chairman was there during that time, based on the documents submitted to us. But for the 2010 Mr. Speaker, the Philippine Air Force has uh, listed down two of a uh, light lift aircraft costing 814 million, Mr. Speaker. That's for 2010. How about for the 2011? For the year that we are. As submitted for, 20, for 2011, Mr. Speaker, we likewise have uh, two of the search and rescue helicopters costing uh, 1.45 billion. Would that be basically all for the Philippine Air Force? That is all, Mr. Speaker. How about for the Philippine Navy? For the Philippine Navy, 
it's a multi-role vessel for 20 sailors, of course, for 2010. For, uh, for 2010, it's also a multi-role vessel, one uh, costing 2 million. For 2011, it's also a multi-role vessel, I guess it's a, it's a continuing payment, it's described as a first amortization, it's at 1.5 billion. So this is in addition to the 2010 MRV? Yes, Mr. Speaker. So in other words, between 2010 and 2011, we're talking of two MRVs. No, Mr. Speaker, we're just talking about uh, one MRV. I believe, I believe the 2010 was a down payment, and the 2011 will be the first MRV. How much is the money of payment for 2011, Mr. Speaker? Is it what? It's uh, 5 billion. 5 billion total. Total for the two years. For 2010, it was 5 billion. For 2011, it's another 5 billion. 5 billion. In other words, uh, not all of the, it was talking 5 billion for the entire AFP for 2011. So part of the 5 billion for 2011 will come from another source. Is that correct? Because, uh, Mr. Speaker, under the AFP model season program on occasion, only 5 billion with the entire armed force of the Philippines. So where will the balance of the 5 billion for 2011 for the MRP come from? The balance which should be 2.5B or 1.5B would come from the 2012 budget. 2012 budget. So uh, we were talking here of full time year. Yes, Mr. Speaker. What about the Philippine Army? In general, I know that uh, the Philippine Army may have uh, several items, but uh, what about the Philippine Army for 2010? What is the targets, Mr. Speaker, for 2010 and for 2011? For 2010, for the Philippine Army, they, they talk of uh, force protection. It's described a quantity of 3,480, 14 armored personnel carriers. 272 21-fan pack radios and one special mission aircraft. For 2011, we have uh, 16, this is a uh, bulldozer, 16 excavators, 32 dump trucks, 10 road graders, one lot of C4I G4S equipment, 1,376 5 